Okay, so these are the things I'm gonna put in my smoothie. Um, so first I've got a banana, and I might actually grab a second one. Then these berries, it's like a mix of different berries. And then some dates um, for the sweetness and also for the nutrition that they have. Then I've got this um, protein powder here. It's this vegan um, um, vanilla protein powder. Then I've got a bit of kale here. I add this because um, I like to get my greens in and I don't really taste it all that, all that much in the smoothie. And I've got hemp seeds here um, and then some ground flax seeds. And then here I'm gonna add a bit of turmeric um, and it might seem weird, but um, turmeric helps with inflammation and I think some other things. So um, yeah, and I don't really taste it in the smoothie, so I like adding it and then some black pepper because it helps the turmeric to be absorbed. I'm going to mix that with this um, the macadamia nut milk. So for lunch, I feel like making something fun today. So I think I'm gonna do tacos and a little like Brussels sprout salad. It's gonna be good. So I'm starting off using the Kali Crumble Veggie Grounds and I'm heating it up in the pan with some onion powder, garlic powder, and some parsley. Next, I'm making the refried beans. So I'm just putting the beans in a pot with some of the spices, chili powder. Salt and pepper, a bit of water. And then I'm just mashing all of that here together. And then I added a little bit of vinegar as well. Next, I'm going to chop up a bit of red cabbage. And then I'm dicing up uh, some red onion and a tomato, as well as a bell pepper. Mm -hmm. 
So next it's time to arrange the taco. So first I'm starting off with the cauli crumble mixture. Then I'm putting in those refried beans and um, some corn on top. And then I'm adding some salsa. And I'm putting a bit of that shredded cabbage on top and those red onions and topping everything with some parsley. So now I'm making the Brussels sprout salad. Um, so I'm putting some walnuts on a baking tray and I'm gonna bake that in the oven just so they brown a little on the top. This adds a really nice flavor to the nuts. Next I'm cutting up some Brussels sprouts. Now I'm just cutting up an apple into very thin matchsticks. After taking out the walnuts from the oven, I chopped them up into small pieces and then I also chopped up a red onion. So now I'm assembling the salad. I'm starting with the Brussels sprouts, adding in some cooked quinoa, and then adding in those apple slices the red onions and those toasted walnuts. Next I'm making the dressing for the salad. So I'm starting out with a bit of Dijon mustard, some tahini, a bit of vinegar, a bit of maple syrup, and a bit of water to help it all blend. These tacos and the Brussels sprout salad was amazing. 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend you make it. Okay, so for dinner, I'm making a veggie bean soup and sandwich. And I'm starting out with cutting up an onion. And I'm also going to use a bit of garlic paste. Next, I'm chopping up some baby carrots. And I just fried all of that until the carrots and onions softened a little bit. Then I'm adding some water. I didn't have any veggie stock, but if you do have veggie stock, I would recommend that. Then I'm adding in some tomato sauce and some miso paste and a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of tomato paste. Then I'm adding in the beans. Next, I'm dicing up some tofu. I'm gonna add that into the soup as well as some macaroni and some sliced mushrooms. Next I'm just adding the spices, so I'm adding a little bit of thyme, some basil, and I just let that cook for around 20 minutes. Next I'm chopping up some kale and I'm putting that in the soup last. And finally, I'm adding in some lemon juice in the end. Okay, so I'm also gonna make a quick sandwich to go with the soup, so um, I'm gonna quickly fry up some tempeh. Um, this is gonna be like a really, really quick sandwich. So for the sandwich, I quickly fried up some tempeh with some barbecue sauce. To arrange, I'm putting some Dijon mustard on the bottom. And I'm putting in some wilted spinach 
and those tempeh pieces, some tomato and pickle. And some pieces of red onion. This soup and sandwich was also really, really good. Very filling and very comforting, especially on a cold day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.